biggest dream is that everyone in the room, the audience, the performers, they're all feeling the same thing at the same time. And it transcends speaking communication. As a composer, I feel like I'm a bit of a collector. I take from the radio, if I hear a taxi honking in Singapore in a certain way, that's a note to me, that's something to be collected. And so I feel the more I travel, the more inspired I am by the things around me and the people around me. My work is strange in that part of the time I'm here in my studio, in my slippers, not going anywhere at all, totally introverted. And then the other part is traveling all over the world, conducting and speaking. So here in London, every couple of weeks, I travel up to Cambridge and either lecture there or conduct. Inspiration can just strike anytime, anywhere. I never know when it's going to happen. So I always carry with me blank sheet music and a pencil. Or I'll bring with me a little keyboard so that I can plug it into my laptop and get an idea down real quick. Just anything to take my studio with me and capture that magic when it happens. A friend had written me and said, you have got to see this. It was a link to a YouTube video. This young 17-year-old girl was singing the part to one of my choir pieces. It struck me like, like a lightning bolt. I thought, if I could get 50 people to do what she's doing, sing their parts, if you just started all their videos at the same time, it would make this virtual choir. For me, being a global citizen means that my community transcends boundaries and borders now. For the last virtual choir, we had 8,400 videos from 101 different countries. I feel that the more I travel, the more I see that people are the same. People love music. People love to be happy. People love to be together. And so if that's the citizenry of the world, I certainly feel like a part of that. I'm Eric Whitaker, and I make music with Toomey.